Hello there. It's been a while, you're probably here for the continuation on the tale of Mr. Edward Cornelius. Well, I guess I have some time to spare. So sit down, let me begin. We all know what happened that night. Edward fell to his death as the height was greater than 20 feet. Before you ask, yes I know it's daytime in this shot, but when there is a coronavirus, you have to use what you have. Anyway, at first appearance it looks like a jackass stunt fail. But if you look closer, you can see he used a technique so disgusting it saved his life. Vomit roping. By puking before a fall, your vomit would act as a bungee cord. How this works in a cowboy game by Rockstar, don't ask me. So as you can see, the roofy old man Jones gave Edward back in part 1 made him very sick. As a result, he was puking his guts out. But because he was puking, he was able to vomit rope and save his own life. Once again, he passed out. When he woke up, he felt worse than a man cringing at Lester from TikTok. Old man Jones was going to pay for what he did. However, there were two things that amazed him that morning. One, he saw the snowstorm was gone. And two, his horse was back. To some extent, the drug worked. His horse was back. Edward was never so happy in his life. He even got jiggy for a moment. He made a promise to his horse that he would never be reckless again. He rode out ready to make the world his. It was clear though that the drug changed Edward. Not just physically, but mentally as well. The drug that Edward took that night was mixed with bone dust, cocaine powder, wild mushrooms, and other ingredients very hazardous for human consumption. The ingredients had long-term effects on his mind and Edward would slowly descend into madness. The first thing he did was blow up old man Jones. He brought back Bo, but he was a creepy old man who randomly drugged people. He had to go. The next thing he did was threaten Crips at gunpoint. He wanted to own the trading business, not be a drunken hobo's partner. Crips of course not wanting to fight with his business partner complied, and the camp was now Edwards. He became the head of the business. He quickly went from novice, to apprentice, next to journeyman, and finally expert. His clothing was so stylish, that it made any woman blush, when they saw him walk down the street. He then pimped out the camp. Fully upgrading the tent, and buying a dog. But keep in mind that Edward's mental health was affected by Jones's drug. He was not the same person anymore. In fact, his mental state was so wrecked by Jones that he heard a man say a horrible thing about his mother and he may have overreacted a bit. In 1898, we stabbed people in the throat. Now in 2020, we have Steven Universe. Who on God's green earth asked for this show? Seriously, do you know how cancerous this fan base is? That's right, I heard the story over and over again. Yet unlike the show I hate, Edward had several mental problems. His behavior was so reckless that it even concerned the ponies of Emerald Ranch. Pretty soon. He would set his sights on where his old job was. The moonshine shack. He thought that, since he was such a good distinguished trader, he decided to get his own shack for 25 gold bars. He set up his shack in tall trees and begun his new moonshine business. Of course, with every successful business you need brains. That's where Maggie comes in. She was a woman who was very experienced in the moonshine trade. 
Her backstory was that she almost died at the hands of Hickson and his revenue agents. I swear, it's the only time I've ever seen Hickson smile. Burning a woman alive. Probably got a medal for her too. As such, it was up to Edward to bring down Hickson and make his new business successful. Q montage. He was now ready to take on Hickson. They set up a trap in the swamp hoping to get Hickson, Danny Lee, and the Braithwaite. Unfortunately, they got caught themselves. How's your aunt, by the way? I never got a chance to ask you at the boat. I hear she's looking well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lem, but no cussing. This is a Christian Minecraft server. Even though the swamp was on fire, Edward had to stay on the task at hand. It was time to kill Hickson. With the death of Hickson, the moonshine business could now flourish. Now here, it is good whiskey. And Hickson, good. Now maybe it's time for me to move on myself. Too many memories around here. I don't know. Maybe not. For now, prosper. Now that the business could flourish, it was time for a change of clothes. Edward made himself a true moonshiner. He even bought a Morza pistol which has such extreme rapid fire capability. His business became one of the best in the state of West Elizabeth, and he would rule over it till the day he died. Well I hope you enjoyed my story. I don't think I can stretch this into a three-parter. I'll see you all later. I'm going to die of old age now. <laughs>